Okay, here we are on the iPhone. You're going to want to navigate to your Apple Store, which I think is right there. And you're going to go to search and you're going to type in FBA Print. And this is the app right here. This has the printer logo icon. You're going to have to download this app and install it to your phone. Now you're going to have to open the app, navigate to it and open it, and you're gonna have to connect to the printer via Bluetooth. And you hit that Bluetooth icon up there, the printer should pop up, it'll be BY426BT and then some numbers and then LE, you're gonna click on that. If it asks for a password, the password is 0000, and it should allow you to connect to the printer. And then if you look at the printer, it is blinking green now rather than having a solid green light. Now that we're connected to the printer, we're going to go through the eBay process. To work off of eBay, unfortunately, the app is not working correctly through the phone, so we're going to have to open a Safari browser. It is very important that you open Safari and not a third-party browser like Firefox or Chrome. We're going to open the browser and go to ebay.com. This is eBay in the mobile site view. We're going to have to change that by clicking up here at the top at the lowercase a, uppercase a, and we're going to have to request desktop website. That's going to give us the way eBay looks kind of on a desktop where you can scroll around and it looks exactly like it does on the computer so it gives you full computer functionality rather than just application limitations and from here you're gonna have to navigate to your order so my eBay selling you can click on print labels and ship if you're gonna do bulk multiple orders this is where you would do it you would check them all and you would go through a bulk multiple order just like you would on your desktop. I'm not sure if there's limitations to how many orders you can generate a PDF and send it through Bluetooth. I haven't got that far experimenting with this printer. So if somebody else for some reason tries to send 10 orders to the printer and it works fine, let me know. If for some reason it, it doesn't work, let me know. I would just be curious. I only have one order to do right now, so I'm going to get into that order. I'm going to hit print shipping label. And from here, it looks like kind of like it does on the computer. It's a little bit different, but we're going to change. I'm going to show you where you can change your settings to 4x6, which is right here where it says print format PDF 4x6. Yours might have said eight and a half by 11, and you're gonna wanna make sure you change it to four by six format. Otherwise, it's not going to print correctly on this printer. Once you change it to four by six, scroll down and hit save. And now we're going to type in our dimensions. You can punch in the weight, the dimensions, the service you're gonna use. I'm going to be using a flat rate envelope for this. So a padded envelope. 752 you can add signature confirmation if you want all of this is just the same as shipping off of ebay on the desktop and then i'm going to hit purchase and print shipping label i'm going to cancel out of that and then i'm going to go to download label and that brings it up in this screen right here and this is how you need the labels to download you need them to be in the browser on the screen and then you're going to hit this square with the arrow pointing up at the bottom you're going to scroll over to where it says copy to fba print and if you don't see that go to more and then you should be able to find copy to fba print in the suggestions now it's going to open your app you're going to want to make sure you are connected to your printer we already connected earlier on in this video so i'm just going to tap on pdf files and then there is my eBay label that we just generated. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you double check the address with the order, and then you're going to hit print, print, print. And that label will be sent via Bluetooth to the printer. 
You can rip it off. You can stick that on your package. And that is good to go. 